card indexes. I've had my share, hundreds of hours of thinking and rearranging, creating prototypes, evolution, thinking I've got the best, try again, hundreds of hours. Um, dividers, different uh, ways to divide tabs in your index. I must have tried 40 different ways to do that. Uh, special containers, boxes, wallets, uh, stepped uh, Svengali sideways indexes, a combination of sideways. This one's real pretty right here. Uh, this was one of my better ones, a little wide. Uh, you know what? I'm done. My name's Eddie Raymond, and this is the Holy Grail, the final word in card indexes. Prove me wrong. That's a bold statement, but let me give you some facts. Uh, show me any card index, uh, personal or marketed, uh, including the $75 versions and up. Uh, the Ultimate Card Index, the Cheetah, Miller's Index, Search Engine 2.0, Index, uh, The Advocate, Dex, uh, any personal index on the market, show me how any other index has an advantage over my RNS index. My Rough and Smooth Index is the smallest, most versatile, easiest to navigate, the most accurate and dependable, the easiest to reset, and with practice, the fastest. Um, my Rough and Smooth Index also lets you pick um, two cards at a time of the same color, the same value, or four cards, four of aces, four kings, four of anything, just as easily and quick as picking one card. Uh, before I show you the workings of this, though, I wanted to let you know that this uh, this is an explanation instructional video. Uh, if you can't see how insanely simple this will work, uh, that's on you. I can pull a card out of this index in one to three seconds. Uh, but what's the point? You need five seconds is plenty of time to pull a card and work it into whatever outcome you have for it. Um, but trust me, uh, there's no learning curve in this. Once you start doing it, right at the beginning, you'll be pulling a card in five seconds yourself. Uh, and you'll get quicker the more you do it. Uh, so the deck is made up of rough and smooth cards. That's like an invisible deck where they are, they are st st stuck together in pairs. Um, I had the blacks together, the black aces, reds. All, they're all stuck together in pairs. But they separate with just a, just a light touch. See those two separated there? These aces are together, a little light touch, and they separate. So and I use a, um, it's called Plasti Dip. You can get that on Amazon or hardware stores. That's the best roughing stuff out there. I've been using it for 25 years. So that's the deck. Uh, the tabs are made up of a, a laminating. I, I, I have a laminator and I run a plain sheet to it. And then I cut these to, to my fit my need. Uh, there's three sections, four in each, and they're stepped. So they go up like that. Those are the tabs. And I'll show you how I set them up in my index. I, uh, this is my little special holder. I also use the laminator to, uh, to cut and make me a little holder for it so it's not much bigger than the deck. And I, I color coded these just so you can see easier what's going on. When I, mine are clear in my pocket, uh, but I just thought it'd be easier with the colors to show you what's going on. Um, but gee, though, so obviously the more you practice, the easier it's going to get. Um, always remember when you when you're going to get a card, they somebody names a card, you don't go right into your pocket because then you got to start thinking, okay, it's over there. I get it. You think about where the card is before you go in. Um, but I, and I'll get to that in a minute. But my cards are arranged like this: the black tabs here, I've got one, two, three. The yellow ones are four, five, six. The green is seven, eight, nine. And in the back, I have ten, jack, queen. So this sits in my pocket this way, against my thigh, that I use it in my front pocket. So this is the way for me. So when you're going to get a card, your fingers are coming back here. The easiest cards to pull are these back ones right here. 
they're all but that your fingers touch so as soon as you go into the deck your fingers are right on these you've got the 10 jack and queen uh the kings in the back i got a joke for you i'll explain that in a minute <laughs> i got the black kings in the back the red ones in the front so if i want a king king of spade or king of club i just i just touch right here and pull up it's that this is the easiest card in there you just go in you touch it and you pull it up and of course they come up in a pair light pressure and they separate so i want the king now remember the rough and smooth is what makes this index incredible because you pull up on a card like this, and it's just a light pressure to leave one behind, either one. And it works the same way throughout the whole index. So I've only got to touch one, any one of those 12 indexes gets me between four of the same value card. Again, this is the easiest, it sits this way. My fingers go in, I can touch a 10 jack and queen, those are like instant for me. I go hit a 10, I just go straight down, I want the red ones, I pull up in the back and take which one I need. I want the black ones, I go in this way, I hit that, that same 10 tab right here, and I go down this way and pull up the black ones and leave behind which one I don't need. So sitting this way, you got 10 jack queen. Now the front, when you go in like this, again, the front ones are just as easy to touch as the back ones because your thumb is right on that bottom row. So you got the 1, 4, and 7 right there. So those are easy. You never have to count more than once. Because I'm right here, I go, I mean, twice. If I'm right here, I go, if I want the two or the three, I just have to go boom or boom. Boom or boom. <laughs> if I'm here, one, two. One, you never have to count more than twice. So if I want the sixes, I go to the middle. I hit that right there. I'm already there. I only got to go one count, uh, two, and I'm right on the sixes. Now I want the red ones. I go into my thumb and pull up. If I want the black ones... I go with my finger, and because I'm facing this way, I go in and pull up. And again, you leave which one you don't want behind. So it's incredibly easy. I mean, somebody names uh, an, eight, uh, an eight of hearts. I know before I even go in, I'm going to hit, I need this tab right here, and it's the back row. So I'm going in this way. I go right here, and I go boom. I'm right there. I go right to the back, pull it up, leave the diamond behind, and I'm done. Now, you can when you pull this out, the other one stays right there all ready for a reset. I mean, this is in my pocket. When I'm done with this cut, I go back in. I can just hit that tab right there and push it all back down, and it's reset. I find it just as easy to pull the whole index out. It takes five seconds to reset it. You can pull it out in five seconds, push the cut. But if you want to do it in your pocket, very easy to do. You want two of, two cards of the same color. You go anywhere. You want the, the uh, two black jacks. I'm coming in this way with from the back. I hit that jack tab, the black one's in the front, I just go straight down, pull up, and I've got both black jacks right there. I can take them right out of my pocket, and I've got them both. Four of a kind is fun. <laughs> this is really fun. Uh, somebody says, I mean, I don't know if somebody says, if you need to pull um, four eights out of your pocket, I know it's this tab right here, so when I go in, I hit here, and I only get to count one. Boom, I hit that eight. Now what you do is just put your finger in sideways, jam it down in there. When you pull up, all four eights come with you. <laughs> and there they are, right there. You can separate them on the way. So you can pull out four cards of the same value just as quick as one card. If I want to go in and get that six of clubs or spades, it's right there. If I want to go in and get all sixes, I hit that tab, I go straight down, pull up, and I've got all four sixes right there. It's th This is insane how easy this index is. And again, you only have to ever have to count two or three because you're, you're always on these right in the front. You know where they are, and you're always on these. So to get to any of these middle ones, they're stepped, so they're very easy. I mean, it's, you're here, two, three. You're here, four, five, six. Seven, you're already there. Eight, nine. And again, I go in, I can get these uh, 10 jack queen. I go in, I hit this tab, I go straight down. I've got the queens, clubs, diamonds, uh, hot spade. Clubs. It's that easy. Back to my notes. <laughs> oh, and this can, you can use this in any pocket. I mean, it works just as easy as inside jacket pocket, outside jacket pocket, rear pocket. Front, I mean, it, it's, it's so simple and easy to navigate. You can use this in any pocket. And again, it's, it's, it's small, it's super easy, easy, easy to navigate, it's accurate, dependable. I feel confident every time I go in, I'm going to get the right card, I'm going to get it quick. Uh, it's easy to reset, and it's very fast. It's more versatile than any, any other index, because I can remove, like I said, two cards of the same color value, or I can remove all four, just as easy as one card. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, 